You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Well, the Green Lantern casting, they casted a light skinned actor that has sparked controversy. Have you heard about this, Michelle? No, I feel like I saw, I, in my mind's eye, I saw they, they uh, cast someone, but I can't remember who it was. So uh, the gentleman that they've cast is uh, Aaron Pierre. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Okay. He made a big splash in this movie that's that that was like number one for weeks uh, called uh, Rebel Ridge. So I'd ask you if you'd seen it. It's no big deal, right? And in the movie, it's ba he's basically like a like a thinky man's Rambo. And, and, and uh, he's fantastic in, in Rebel Ridge. He absolutely has has the, the charm, the charisma, the leading man. I love him. Well, he got cast as the, uh, what is it, John Stewart? John Stewart, the, yes. Yeah, give us a little background, Fletcher, because Fl Fletcher is, among other things, uh, Afro-Latino. So <laughs> I'm going to throw it on you. What? <laughs> So just what? because we're talking about black people, you got to put me in. Hey. <laughs> go, go. Uh, so John Stewart is basically a member of the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, you know, he is uh, African American, and he is, I believe, he was either an astronaut. Uh, it was, you know, a part of the time when I kind of stopped uh, collecting uh, DC at the time. But uh, he is part of the Green Lantern Corps. The Green Lantern Corps, of course, is the galactic force. Uh, that uh, uh, powers the Green Lantern's rings that are able to help people uh, imagine uh, things and counter them up with their uh, rings. Uh, so this series is going to be called Lanterns. It's going to be a, a limited series uh, release, uh, hopefully like next year or something. And they already had cast, I think, like uh, three different lanterns. Um, and uh, he is going to be one of them. It's going to be a detective style show featuring uh, the lanterns because they're like, uh, you know, cops uh, of the of the universe in the comics. So they're going to try to do a uh, what was that show, Polly, that you like True Detective? I think yeah. they're trying to say they're going to do kind of like a True Detective, but superhero style. Uh, that's the kind of show they're going to have. So is so, the, this is under the James Gunn DC, right? Correct. Okay. Right. So, uh, you know, I assumed a lot of people were happy about this, but I, I right. got, I was checking out black Twitter and, uh, they're, they're, they're talking about colorism. They're talking because the brother was mm. drawn very dark. Let me know in the chat what are your thoughts. Uh, but let me read. Uh, let me let me read from this, and then we'll get Michelle's thoughts af as well. Uh, the creators of John Stewart made him specifically dark skin as a criticism for colorism in comic book characters, and DC casting Aaron Pierre feels disrespectful because of that. I was excited about watching the show, but I can't support it now because he goes on to say it's so sad to see seeing account on. On this app, not mentioning the issue outright, giving a shrug because they're afraid of getting called a Snyder cultist or because they don't want to speak badly of James Gunn. So here is, and then and it's very hazy for me, guys, right? As far as this, 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 uh, this copy here, I think this is from the creator of, of this character. Soul comes and says, Neil, I noticed that you colored the John Stewart guy kind of a darker brown. Yeah. Well, we usually color black people a little brown. Yeah, I noticed that. In fact, over at Marvel, they color this guy Gabe in the Howling Commandos gray. Uh, then it's like a, you know, a specific type of gray. Yeah, but are you sure you want to have him that dark? Well, yeah. Most black people I know are pretty dark. There are some very light skinned people, but not John Stewart. Now, I'm going to say something that they're going to say is to be a direct quote. You have to understand it's a direct quote. And after you hear it, you'll go, really? Nobody nobody would have said that. Nobody human would have said that. But you still have to remember the times we're in, okay? The second ending of the story happens very close to doing the book. So I did the book and I handed it in. And I colored it. Back in those days when you colored comic books, you had to mark your colors. I would say the number. I would, I would number them. So... Anglo-Saxon flesh would be blah, blah, blah. 
that's 25 percent 25 percent black people usually uh they usually did a khaki light brown it was like there's the numbers it looks like s brown it looks like baby s they colored all black people that way so i didn't of course i colored john stewart dark brown i handed the job in and marked it it's going to be dark and michelle uh this is just you know one example of a lot of people on twitter just dogging this casting now that you have uh, gotten some of this info what are your thoughts well, it depends on how they're dogging it. Because I was thinking of a scenario, like in my mind, like if I had read a character of a female that was described as having very porcelain-like skin and they cast a tan, a really tan white girl, I, I would be annoyed maybe like that they did get, because I'd just be like, well, that's not what's described in the book. But I wouldn't like associate it to like colorism against porcelain skin either it would just be like ah oh, you know that doesn't really fit the look that the book described um so i i don't so it so he is very very dark in the comic yes okay i mean i don't know i mean it, polly says that if the guy's a really good actor you know and he is black i i feel like you probably should just cast the best actor that is black yeah, and I, I think uh, because I asked uh, Solomon Thornton, who's in the chat, he's more familiar with uh, the character uh, than I am. Because I asked him, I didn't remember what he was before he was in Lantern, and he was a U.S. veteran. The move in the movie Rich, it's it's very uh, uh, he's very militaristic, I guess, or stuff like serviceman type of role that he killed it. So that could be also like a factor. Like if he can kill servicemen, uh, you know, then this would be a this would be a good uh, a good fit. Uh, but it, you know, sometimes black Twitter and all stuff, you know, they I see their point because uh, people have been saying that uh, John Stewart character should have been a little bit uh, darker and stuff like that. There's a lot of great uh, you know darker skin uh, actors. But you know, you got you got the both sides of it, where you kind of say, "Well, this guy's a good actor; he can really put uh, push, uh, you know, pull off being like a, a member of the military." Well, so yeah, it goes in a, both ways, I guess, in a sense. I get it. I get why people are upset. I also get that this is a business, and you know, Aaron is coming off a huge hit with rebel ridge and you need stars you need you need you know mm -hmm. good looking leading men i mean this guy is all all charisma uh there's so there's that and then this is kind of continuing this conversation that we've had of michelle in regards to brit actors who happen to be black mm -hmm. uh playing american roles mm -hmm. that that is like now more than ever john boyega Mm -hmm. this gentleman is British as well. A lot of African-Americans don't like that. It's uh, like, you know, cause it's like, well, wait a minute. What about, what about these actors? What about these actors? And I, I would be a hypocrite to say that there's nothing that, that their argument isn't there's some, there's, there's something there because you guys know on, on here, we kind of, we kind of go over a lot of uh, stuff. And one of the things we go over is, the casting uh, practices of Hollywood. I mean, and when you still have uh, people such as Ben Affleck playing a Mexican American in a movie, you're like, that's crazy. It's <laughs> what movie was that? Argo. Argo is a oh. real life. Uh, he was a real life uh, uh, person who was uh, undercover in our, you know, uh, it was his, it was Mexican American. But the other part, Michelle, is that it's Ben Affleck. He's a star. You need your stars. Uh, any more thoughts, guys? I mean, in that case, though, like, I feel like if it's a true story and he's a, a Latin American, you just find a Latin American for the role. Right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 and it, I guess it goes then with uh, with case by case, right? Yeah, right. I, I think it is a case by case. Absolutely. Because with this, too, I, I like, I understand, I guess, being, I, no, I really don't because, like, 
Henry Cavill, the most iconic American character there almost is besides Captain America, Superman. Mm. And we, and we, you know, no one fussed about Henry Cavill. He's as British as they come, but right. like he played the role good. Yeah. You know, um, that's a whole nother thing too, that we brought up. And part of the bigger argument that I was, that I was uh, talking about was that this generation, British actors are just the best trained. They are, they are good. They're good. And, and uh, that they're getting a lot of the jobs. Mm. Whether they're black, whether they're white, whether they're Indian, you just you're just seeing that uh, we, you know, it, it just level up, level up, or or you know, um, uh, the Australians are the same way. Uh, you know, Romy, who's who's coming on soon, she's classically trained, and she t she will tell you what a just you know what a harrowing experience that was. Then you're talking about Vassar or Yale. Angela Bassett, Viola Davis, they come from that. So it's not like they don't exist, but it's just, it's just, it's just a, a, a very small group of people. And then you're talking about a very competitive uh, 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 career, being an actor and getting work, break, breaking into the business. Uh, any more thoughts on this, uh, uh, Force of Light? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I can understand. Again, I, I give that example that I, I used of if in my mind, uh, like a book had described a woman as like porcelain skin and you you hired like a very tan white woman that would that would just kind of throw you off because you're like, that's not the character. Are you trying to say you're not a Rachel Zegler fan? What's going on here? No, 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 no. <laughs> Rachel Zegler is, uh, she's, she's, I don't know where she's from in South, I mean, Latin America, or she's Colombian, isn't she? Half Colombian, yeah. Okay. Well, she's a Jersey, first of all, she's a Jersey girl, yeah, she's like okay, half okay. white, half, half uh, Colombian. <laughs> that invalidates but, her Colombian. <laughs> oh no, my God. I, in my example, I'm yeah. talking about like, like, I can't tan. So like, if, if you know, like, there, <laughs> you know, well, there's well, us. You, you, Right. You've got the Snow White look, though. You know, you're the. You yeah. Know, so, it, so if a role was like described in a book, say, as this ivory skin and you cast like one of my friends that has like super tan skin that tans real easy, it might throw you off. But I'm not going to be that mad. And like in this case, like you said, if you say this guy has a lot of charisma, I, I feel like there's just a lot of lack of good charisma from some of the, the mm. actors today. So if he's got a lot of charisma, then I understand why he's cast.